you excited about science as it's, uh, as it's practiced at a very exciting level and often at a meaningful level in terms of function and use and, and understanding the world is it's not written down in proposals and it's not uh, teams come together and work on it and think about it. it. It mostly comes from one or two people who have an idea that seems not proper and it seems off, it seems unrelated. And then, but they notice this this phenomenon while they're doing normal experiments. And frankly, the most common thing I think scientists agree that, that happens the moment the discovery is made, and discoveries are always surprising by definition, which some people have trouble with, uh, is that's funny. What's that? <laughs> you know, and that, I, that's happened most of the time. I find things suddenly that didn't I didn't imagine. I can see them, and then I can test them quickly. And sometimes, when you're on the hot run, they test. So you jumped over ten cities, and you don't have to go through there to get to this new place. And then you see more ter terrain, and this the, and then and then the thing slowly gets more established. And after a while, people notice it, and then it becomes really important. That, that's the history of most discoveries. Now, what happens really? in our minds, because we humans have to tell stories around the fireside 300,000 years ago, and we have to make people comfortable. We ourselves are human. We have to understand how it happened. So the next day already, when you're trying to de try to describe this real accident, surprise to a person, you're already starting to tell a story. And he, he, within a year, you're telling a story that really integrates with the system. See, this is what's under, misunderstood about the way we find things. 